Hey guys, welcome. All right, so, oh man, I, I hope you don't hear that in the background. If you do hear that in the background, that's the Alcatronic. Today I figured it was a time to give you an update on this Red Sea Max uh, E260 that I have right here behind me because there has been changes since the last video that I posted. And also, I figured it was time to do an upgrade to it. I've been wanting to randomize the flow in here. Right now, this tank is running on the return pump and I did put a pump behind the rocks and I'll show you here up closer in a minute. I was actually on the verge of purchasing those VCA, the random, random flow uh, nozzles or something like that. But someone posted on one of my videos where they recommended for me to use a spin stream. And so that is exactly what we'll be doing today. We were, are going to install these. I'm thinking that once I attach that, it will create enough random flow that it will make the movement that I want it to make, right? And as you can see, there are updates to this tank. And one of the major updates is I got a blue carpet anemone. My favorite color, to be honest, is blue. It's always been blue. And I feel like this has been a great addition. It has a green mouth. So it's actually so cool that, that the carpet anemone itself is blue with a, a green mouth that under blues, it actually glows, the green mouth does. And then under the wider spectrum that I have it during the daytime, you see the vibrant blue of this carpet anemone, which I love. I have a different anemone that I was told was a sunburst. Uh, under their lighting at the a local fish store, it looked that nice uh, orange, but not vibrant as a Colorado sunburst. It was just like a, a duller version of that, but orange. And here it, it just looks like a plain bubble tip anemone. But you know, I, I like it anyways. I'm gonna bring you up close right now, just so you can see. Here is a tank. I'm using an orange lens to try to see if I can get some of these colors in camera. But as you can see, here is this beautiful blue carpet anemone. So I'm debating if I really wanna add any more fish, especially fish that are skittish and tend to like swim crazy when they get scared like fox faces do, because I can see that being a, a an issue if somebody passes by, they get startled. They swim all over the place and they end up coming here to get stuck because this, I don't know if this is grown and is, or it's just doing really well. And I can't really put a size comparison here, but I know that if I put my hand in the tank, it is the size of my hand, which would, I would say it's a good eight to nine inches across, especially when it's fully extended. Uh, then you have your regular bubble tip and three other bubble tips over here. Uh, rainbow bubble tips. This Lobo is not doing well. So uh, this is where the tank is at. So now I'm gonna put the camera down, maybe do a quick time lapse and show you where I will install these spin streams. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick unboxing just to show you what's in the box and what this pretty much looks like. And it's very straightforward. Empty box, comes with these. Here's the spin stream itself. These right here are connectors uh, to, so you can find the size that will hook up to the other end of the nozzle on these Red Seas. My understanding is that these should, one of these should fit, so let's cross our fingers. So there's nothing, to my understanding, there's nothing mechanical about these. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the flow. I don't see an issue with any of these fitting because like these are meant to fit in like your innovative marine tanks and all that but they provide these adapters for you to be able to use them in other tanks due to the length of this nozzle it, it comes out a lot and I'll show you that and I'm assuming you can cut these to size and it, it could be an eyesore so you know like this I'm assuming this fits perfectly on an innovative marine one but with this, you can adapt it with this, and then this other end goes to that, and then you have this much sticking out. So 
So see how much these stick out. I mean, this is, I feel like it's almost an eyesore, but for now, I just want to test uh, the performance. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn these on. Here we go. point them a bit up because before that I was getting some agitation at the top on it looks like on the far one when it points up there is a little bit of agitation there's a bit of agitation over here too I would like a bit more though I don't see much of a difference to be honest as a matter of fact I want to say that I actually see less because if you look at the hammer back there you'll notice that it is not moving as much. I did move it a bit more to point up so that there's a bit more surface agitation. I'm gonna leave it like that. I do see a bit more movement here with these anemones, uh, with that one over there. Uh, no movement in the sand, which is what I wanted. I didn't want the sand to be stirred up and no, not a lot of movement with the corals on the frag rack. So now those are not permanently gonna be here. We're gonna keep just, it is gonna be a mainly an enemy tank. So uh, we shall see, you probably would rather see this like this, right? All right, so that will do it for this video. If you're new to this channel, I definitely ask you to please consider subscribing, consider hitting that like button, consider leaving a comment below, consider continuing to watch every episode every week and I will continue making them. Until then, I'll catch you in the next one.